Mm -hmm. All right. Which character is his opponent using? Let's find out. Yeah, it's, it's uh, Beowulf. Oh, this is a this is a this is like a really weird, tricky matchup for Wii Fit. Surprisingly rough, actually. For Wii Fit? Yeah. Like in this matchup, to fight Bayonetta, the best thing to do is to keep your feet firmly planted on the ground and shield a lot. Mm -hmm. And. That feels really weird to do with most characters, but especially Wii Fit Trainer. Like in this game, it feels weird to just stand still and spam shield like at Smash 4, you know? Okay. Because it's like, if you don't do that, she's just gonna ABK you until the cows come home. It's just like, wow. Yeah, I mean, you can kind of I'm already tell, but like Amaryllis like is just kind of building a pretty good lead uh, and just kind of see that like there's not too many windows for Visceral to like go in. Indeed. Hello Ajax. She's not getting a kill easily though. When Ajax, I miss your voice. Let me hear it. That is going to blow up my spot like that. I was busy <laughs> listening to the great <laughs> knowledge that was John Numbers about this matchup, man. What what do? What do? Let's go on that everybody. Numbers right. freak. Anyway. Anyway. Sure. Uh, Take it away you two. I'm going to go eat. <laughs> Despite Bayonetta winning the neutral a lot in this matchup, if Wii Fit doesn't just stay on the ground and shield, uh, Bayo sucks at killing Wii Fit in this matchup. She has to get something really raw. Yeah, the kill power is definitely in the fair, uh, favor of Wii Fit too. Like in one of the like one of the things I noticed about Amaryllis out of the last tournament that forward I just tilt. watched on Monday is definitely that like forward smashes and such. It's a ledge definitely doesn't have the most optimal ledge traps, which just works in favor of Wii Fit. Yeah, like the biggest thing is Wii Fit can just not let go of the ledge and Bayonetta doesn't have any way to kill because her kills are the smash attacks back air and forward throw and mm -hmm. she's not hitting any of those if we fit just holds ledge exactly you're not running over to the ledge and dropping a down tilt onto a side beat you're going to take too much damage for that so and also deep breathe just look at the damage output that we picked to put on by comparison like Bayo definitely has the ability to work but i agree like staying grounded is so important in this matchup oh, i get that but Bayo does win neutral a lot in this matchup Wii Fit doesn't have the tools to like deal with a heavy mobility based character. That was actually a really good attempt at the edge guard, like just barely missing the kill within there. A little bit higher would have worked out, but. Oh yeah. Visceral did well to like DI all the way out as well. Mm -hmm. He almost died for it, but he lived. I don't think that... Nice Jesus call. Christ. ABK from the ledge is like the Bayo mix <laughs> from the ledge. Yo, double, la double laser from ledge, baby. Except now it's uh, ABK from ledge. Are you right? Oh my god, oh. straight to 53%. We fit trigger damage. You should just rob smash. I definitely thought that's what that was going for, uh, what Visceral was going for there on that oh, platform. Hold on, hold on. Oh, Can oh, oh. It? oh my god. Mm, Bayonetta. Like at one, at, at 120 after that fair, that's, that hurts. But the up to, to back air, that was actually very solid. Yeah, she deserves it. <laughs> yeah, you right. We went through it enough. I mean, Bayo got like some solid changes in the last patch, but we fit definitely got much better changes <laughs> in the last patch by comparison if we're talking about that. Oh, here we go. Bayo combo time. Not too much though. Yeah, this is no way to like chip form over. Like if Amarillo's can hold down a solid let trap here. Oh, never mind. Wow. That was some kind of slow. That was some kind of slow mashing for Amaryllis. Don't forget to exhale. When yeah, I wonder if maybe Amaryllis is just like, uh, you can tell me this no, on he, that. Uh, he on was trying to mash. When it comes to grounded, can, can the up smash rip you out from the grounded point there or do you need them to like bounce out first? They need to come out. Okay, so I wonder if maybe there was a delay on the mash to try and like anticipate an up smash and uh, Visceral just read it. Uh, not really, because Wii Fit's not supposed to be able to get anything out of a berry unless the opponent wasn't expecting it, and it looked like okay. Amaryllis was mashing from the moment he got buried. Okay, so yeah, there's just a bit of a slow mash. Amaryllis was playing, like, solid enough, just wasn't able to, like, close out the kills first. Um, yeah, that's like, Bayonetta's biggest issue. Yeah. So crazy to even talk about. I know. Like, Smash 4, killing was... The thing she was notorious for. Oh, you're at zero? <laughs> Come here. And now, ultimate killing is the thing she's notorious for again. Three, two, Just for a different four. reason. Yeah, lack thereof. Hello, cat. We got cats on the Anyway, let's see what's going on for this game, too. Uh, one other thing I'm just going to mention that Weefa can do in this matchup is she can crouch. 
She can crouch at distance and Bale can't just do raw IBKs anymore because she can just stick out enough tilt on reaction. Oh, I, I really like the push right there from Memorialis. Like capitalizing on damage, going straight off stage and keeping the pressure on. Of course. Okay, here, here. You know what, even though if Visceral was still staring it down, like I, I do give credit to the fact that even though you could get punished consistently by the AVKs off the ledge, Amaryllis is not afraid to still throw it out just to remind uh, Visceral, like you have to be anticipating this option. Oh yeah, there's no reason to just... Pulls it out. There's no reason to full stop ABK. In fact, he should still just be doing AB every, ABK every time. He should just be changing up the timing. Like it's on the it's on the opponent to precisely guess when that ABK is coming, and if they're not correct, they're gonna get ABK. Right. Yeah. It's more about like don't attack in anticipation. Like make sure that you understand like the habits out of them. Once again, going for the forward smash and getting met with F tilt. So we fits forward tilt. We fit just hit so hard. Like it, it, this is one of those characters that I believe that people still don't understand. Oh, look at Amaral as well, though. That's a that two stock lead. A completely different change up from game one. Better believe it. Raw forward air. One of the most like specifically jump call out tools in the game. We fits forward air. It's like the only purpose of this move is to call out your jump, and that's it. Yeah, pretty much. And I and I guess pressure people on platforms, whatever. <laughs> yeah, it seems like Visceral was trying to go for maybe like a little bit more faded back zoning attempt there, but it's just so hard when you're like this far behind. Yeah, I gotta say, I know Bayonetta is like kind of annoying to fight against in this game because, you know, ABK neutral covers like a third of the screen, but mm. Bayonetta is hyped to watch in this game. Yeah, I think that's a definitely underslept on idea from people because everybody was so just torn yeah. from what we Every dealt with, with last game. Everyone still got PTSD from Smash 4. Mm -hmm. I was wondering if people who actually like enjoyed fighting Bale only because I had to fight it every damn day at my house, but it was- uh, It became it, unenjoyable in a hurry. Yeah. And this one, I felt Thanks. like it's just much more true to concept. Nice attempt to try and go grab that, but Amarillo saw that coming. Thankfully, my Bayonetta PTSD was overwritten by uh, Brawl Meta Knight PTSD. Yeah, it's true. I, know, I didn't really have to deal with that nearly as much as you. That fault in the drop boot. off back air is going to close it out. That was a really good answer from Amaryllis in game two. Amaryllis takes game two with a strong comeback. I mean, a strong return serve. <laughs> You're going to get me on those. I don't know. I have no volleyball <laughs> text, <laughs> like, t like words whatsoever. And I was just coming up with a different word than comeback, because this wasn't really a comeback. True. That I wasn't was coming endless. up with a volleyball euphemism, that's for sure. Especially yeah. since there are no volleyballs to be seen in this match. Oh, yeah, true. I, I have, honestly, what, what it, what's that side B again? That's a soccer ball, right? It's a soccer ball. Okay. Thanks, Sakurai, for that. Hee <laughs> <laughs> hee. All right, game three, probably running it right back, considering how long, like, not that again, that they did take an extra second to get the match started. Well, same characters. Let's see what the stage is. Ah, another Pokemon stage. Who would have guessed? What's your view on this matchup in terms of this stage? I don't play on this stage. I ban this stage, like, universally. Is it due to the wider sides, or are you just not, like, the design in general? So I don't like this. I'm not sure if Amaryllis is going to take advantage of it, but this match stage is actually really bad for Wii Fit Trainer because for most characters, if Wii Fit gets deep breathing, uh, you can use those two platforms to just air staller until it runs out. Okay, that's oh, oh. Th that's a solid point. I didn't even think about that. Each is a very big example of this because, uh, what's his name? Ling Ling definitely did it to me. Mm -hmm. But then I noticed that like lots of players were doing that to me and I'm like, I don't want to play here anymore. Yeah, it's a pretty common stage in Connecticut. Uh, Light likes playing a lot uh, on it. Ling would use it as like a counter. Uh, yeah, I only like a play- counter stall stage against uh, Interrobang. I only don't ban the stage if I'm fighting against a character that like likes the stage. I mean, if I'm fighting against a character that likes like the triplat Smashville combo, you know, like Emerald Mark King definitely and making this work so well. Ain't gonna close it out yes, with is. the neutral B2. Like Emerald's reads on the defensive options in this, uh, especially in this compared to even game uh, to game two, have been completely on point. Like I think I think the download is definitely in there from game one. 
Oh, yeah. Nasty. Thankfully, it doesn't seem like Amaryllis is actually trying to air stall Weefa Turner because she's. Bana is definitely one of the characters that can do it. Mm -hmm. But he's choosing not to, it appears. Like, he doesn't seem scared of deep breathing for some godforsaken reason. Well, yeah. And this might be the reason! Oh, there we whoa. go! There's another Hi, some beautiful stocking. Gonna get all. Oh, and just barely doesn't. missing any mech, even with the wall clean. This but you know what? When you're up two stocks like that, that's still fine. Fails to stick the landing. <laughs> yeah, Emerald is absolutely cruising with this match right now. I think a big part of just like the lack of fear of the deep breathing is just the fact that like the amount of neutral win interactions, uh, interactions that have been won have just been so yeah. heavily in favor. No, I get it. He's been winning neutral very frequently. And so it's like, why be afraid of deep breathing? Yeah, this is looking rough. And it's even, like, it's hard for, like, Visceral to slow this down at this point, too, this, like, being this far behind. You still have the clutch factor of that deep breathing, like, clutch. an up smash can kill very soon. He could still slow the match down. Like, if he takes advantage of the fact that Bayonetta is not that good at killing, hilarious. I thought he hit him. <laughs> if he takes advantage of the fact that Bayonetta is not very good at killing, he could take this back. But he's going to have to be really patient for the next four minutes. Oh, I was there it that. is. Very nice read. Yeah, great air dodge call right there. Because at, at that point, right, uh, like you're assuming they're just going to keep pushing and try and swing there. So you either go for the bats within or you go for air dodge. So 137, like you said, you everybody should always have some fear of deep breathing. Well, if there's any time to... Never mind. Never mind. <laughs> Never mind. Never mind. It's over. I was going to say, if there's any time to be afraid of deep breathing, it's when Amaryllis reaches like 70-ish. Anyway, good show to Amaryllis. Showing us I that was trying still... to say... This is best of five. Oh. 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 It's not over, ladies and gentlemen. Also, I just realized something this week. Uh, I've already noticed that this is not the House of K rule anymore. Like the past few tournaments, <laughs> that, the past few tournaments I've watched have just been the K rules tearing everything apart. We're 808, and it who was a King Ant last week. Do we have K rules running around in this tournament? Uh, not that I see. Disappointing. Oh, Mouse DQ. Hold on, here we go. Here's that combo again. Oh, oh, got him onto the platform. Delicious. He still had his air dodge there when he died, unfortunately. Anyway, three, two, one, go. Same stage. Anyway, I'm also, I'm also just gonna say this. Uh, if the opponent isn't air camping, we fit trainer. Uh, the stage is just finer. Sorry, go ahead. No, no, it's all good. I was actually listening to that. I'm wondering what Visceral feels like they they figured out uh, going here, in, like running it back to this stage. Because even though they won, it's not oh. necessarily like it's not a jump. That's good mash up. Forward smash. Not looking for the jump off ledge. If he messed up his mash there, he was gonna die. All right, what heinous thing do we have from Bayonetta? Yeah, he's just being so aggressive right now. He is not scared of Weefa Trainer. Yeah, really just playing like the smother tactic. Like, I refuse to let you play so you don't get set up. You don't get a time to set, like, the charge. Yeah. Oh, it's really rough. It's like, oh, why just... be scared? Yeah, just go for the down air spike, right? Yeah, that was like just so close. Like, I like it because you haven't really gone off stage like all set so far. Uh, I like, so try and catch one of those early. That would have definitely stolen the stock right there. For sure, but it's like, why bother in general? It's just like, oh man, it's Witch Twist. True, I think it's just one of those options where it's like, you haven't done it much, and you know that they're always side being back to stage there, so you can just kind of pull it out. I think it's more of like a late game tactic, especially in game four. Oh yeah. <laughs> nice back air call out, and he's dead. That's one of those spots where you like almost always just want to hold shield to stay in place because when they're in front of you like that, they have a down air, uh, like witch time, or just land with an aerial in general. It's like, just kind of respect it. I was trying something slimy here with those wall jumps, but no good. And it's got wall jumps too. And wall clings. I'm trying to read the earlier cover. Good job by Mr. Avoiding that. That's it. Ah, uh, that, that character does 20 damage! Oh, here we go. Something started. Ah! Oh! <laughs> Loud. <laughs> that was going to be so clean after that close out. Like, definitely had the right call, just barely missed it. I gotta give credit where it's due. Like, it, like, 
sure there may be some improvements that are available for the lead trapping, but when Amorous gets a hold of Visceral, like, wow. Just empty jump forward smash. <laughs> you got it. So, crouching is actually very effective in this matchup, again, because you can get underneath ABK. Mm -hmm. But a lot of Bayonettas that I've seen, from my experience, just try to raw forward smash when we fits try that. Or at least when I try that. I think it's just something they automatically think to do. It's just like, oh, they're crouching. Let me just punch them with my fist. Yeah, don't like, why run up? Why try to go for side B? They're probably gonna just get up and shield. Let me just put this out. Yeah, let me do the scary YOLO option. <laughs> oh, berry time. What happened? Forward tilt. Wow! And he went in like a straight line there. Yeah, that was like a hard DI outright. Yeah, I think it was holding down. Good job avoiding that. The other times you see Bayonetta that ledge, like it just you you get that same cloud feel. It's like uh, the back air, back air is coming, the back air. But like even though Visceral is holding a lead, like nothing too comfortable. Trying to look for one right here. There it is. Jesus, up tilt back air is a confirm. How surprising. They need something every once in a while. So let's see what happens now. Emerald is definitely looking at dire straits this game for sure. Oh, that's a good way to start. Don't get that air dodge call down. A good, I think it was SDI in towards the left. So good job being so, able to like rack up the damage. Ness is already at 67. That could have been really bad if he hit an ABK there. Mm -hmm. oh, that might have been it. Oh. Nice job not trying to buffer an option off ledger. That could have like been real big trouble. He's not scared. Like, look at this man. <laughs> nice aim. Oh my goodness, that was so well played. Like, you like bait the drop low. Visceral hasn't pulled that option out like all set. So you make it so you want to pull that jump out early. And it just covers so much. Strong, firm abs. Let's say that again. Header, and then he's just like, whoop. Oh, he forward aired it. Beautiful. Yeah, that was well played. I like my my ankles got broken for sure. Like I would assume like oh they're they're coming down after me, so I need to jump in this situation and it caught Amarillo's off guard too. Well the first header was nice, it's the second one that was just like wow. No, the first one was good too because he read a low mm -hmm. recovery. It's not easy to just like commit to punishing a low recover. Because yeah, a lot true, of players like, outside, just like outside oh, of like trading high. with a forward air like down there, you're pretty much not getting too much out of that in that position. Yeah, because most people will just be like, I'll just recover high to bait you off the stage, then recover low, and you can't do anything about it because uh, you already jumped off the stage. Mm -hmm. yeah, that was <laughs> such a good send back. That, that was so well played by, by Visceral there. Go and bringing it to game five. On what stage? Um, I don't think we run it back to PS2. All right, Town and City. Town and City. Close enough. Like, I think PS2 is probably removed. Uh, you still get the you still get the platform layouts on the side so you can camp a bit you get the combo extensions maybe it's hard to say for sure and both of them benefit off of the uh the side blast zones too so it's still very like it's a beneficial stage really for both at the moment the close side blast zones yeah a little bit more in the favor of Amarillo's. yeah it definitely helps bayonetta more we fit trainer doesn't really get much out of close side blast zones as she's already a murder. She's already a murder machine, and she has a good recovery. She'd rather have big blast zones. Yeah, true. Yeah, that the, like deep breathing up will do like still take out chaos at the side. The kill slow stage. Uh oh. Oh. Uh -oh. Nice, nice nair finisher. Wow! What a great bait. Not even wait, just like going out there, making it look like maybe I'm gonna look for a jump. I've regularly looked for a jump in this situation and just following Visceral all the way down. He even made it look like he was gonna land on the platform. <laughs> 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 hey, you know, <laughs> we I take know, those. I, I do that too, but still, that's we with a W-I-I. <laughs> Good job getting away from that. That could have That could have been a lot of trouble. Up throw, missed it. Emerilus is kind of popping off right now with his movement. Match is even, but Emerilus really feels like he's gotten into a groove here. It still activates? Okay. And Emerilus did a great job being very careful not to accidentally save Visceral. 
yeah, that definitely get like if that happened right there after it was such a beautiful setup, like that would have sucked. But I mean, even so, we've seen already like out of both of them, like nobody's really been able to close it out with a two stock game. It's always been towards the end. So and even with this lead, Emeralds is not being defensive at all. He's just going ham. Mm -hmm. He refuses to stop holding forward, and I love it. Yeah, you'd like expect, normal. especially here in game five, like eh, in winter semis, you would assume that somebody would want to chill back and let you come yeah. to me. Oh. Normal because they ended up costing him real to stock too, but even right off the platform. Wait, wait. No okay. I was like, that could have been something. Don't jump. Okay. I'd normally bemoan the fact, the idea of just holding forward, but because net play, but Bayonetta does that offline too, so I don't mind. <laughs> oh my God. Oh, no punish on that either. Yeah, I don't think either of them was expecting that. That might have been a down ABK. Oh, oh. I just want to mention if that back air made contact, this roll would have won. 65 at oh, ledge yeah, 65%. is. 65%. At ledge is definitely death. Alright, what happens here? What's the so mix? The sun. This is so close right now. Oh, yeah. Good call, not right. going forward on Everything? that. That would have. Oh yeah, it's breath. Jesus Christ! <laughs> Salute the sun. Yeah. That good show it. to both players. Absolutely, that was an extremely close cool set. Like, very good job on Visceral to not only run that back, but to like not let um, that, especially that game two, kind of get in their head because game two was all in favor of Amaryllis, and even game three uh, was behind and ran it back. Oh yeah. I want to mention something about that final stock, but I'll wait until it shows up again. Mm -hmm. Jeez, it was good stuff, though. Freaking roof it. Dude, they just went out of control buffing this character, I swear. <laughs> yeah, that right there. That's a momentum stealer right there, too, because, like, Amaryllis, like you said, just never oh, yeah. really stopped holding forward, and then you just get reverse edge guarded by, like that. Oh yeah, we fits are never counting on that happening. It, if it happens, it happens. But like no one ever hits the ball into the stage expecting that to happen. Mm -hmm. That's because when it bounces off the stage, it like goes lower and usually you and the opponent are gonna be high. Yeah, so it's just one of those really lucky situations. Yeah, it's definitely planned. Also, I'm just gonna say this is all hindsight, but if we fit has deep breathing and sun charged and is like, spacing that far away from the ledge as we saw in the final stock mm -hmm. just continue to hold the ledge